Hey guys, Nick here from Into Fly Fishing, and in this review video, we're gonna be checking out this right here, the Snowbee Spectre number 5.6 fly reel. Let's get into it. All right, so before we get started with this review, I have to let you guys know that Snowbee did send us this fly reel and the extra spool to review and test, but in no way are we required to say anything positive about this product or any other product on this channel. So with that out of the way, let's get started and talk about how I was fishing this reel. So I've had the Spectre number 5.6 fly reel now for about six or seven weeks. And I've been fishing the 5.6 with both my five weight fly rod and my six weight fly rod with five weight lines, six weight lines and overweighting the five weight with a six weight line. So I've definitely fished this thing in, in every scenario I can imagine and really been able to test it quite well so that I can give you guys a proper review here. And I've spooled the reel and the spare spool up with these two lines here. This is the Snowbee XS Plus Spectre Distance Fly Line. It's a fast sink, it sinks at about five IPS. It's weight forward, number five, and it's a great fly line, it's sinking tip, I love it. The other spool, I have a floating line on there, and I'm using with the Snowbee XS Plus High Float Fly Line. Um, it's the Thistle Down 2, weight forward, number two to five weight. And this floating line really does sit right on top of the water. And you don't have to put floatant on it or grease it up really. It's, it's immediately going to sit on the top of the water when you get it out of the box. Both of these fly lines by Snowbee just fire out of the guides and they both have very little line memory. So on this massive arbor of the spool, you really don't have any of that curling on the surface of the water when you're casting it out. And I've been fishing it pretty consistently up here in Northwest Montana. And I've been on small streams and even on some of the bigger rivers. And I took this on a couple of mountain lakes as well. So I fish it in a wide variety of different scenarios and I've caught a lot of different size fish on this thing. Uh, I haven't caught any massive, you know, five, 10 pound trout on it yet, but I have caught a lot of little brookies in the small creeks and streams back here. And I've also caught a couple of decent sized rainbows and cutthroats on it. So it's got its, it's got its use and I've been able to fish it quite a bit. And what I can say about it is that it has a very smooth drag. It's really well balanced and is ultra, ultra light. And I love the aesthetics of it. So actually let's get into that next. Let's talk about the aesthetics, the build and the makeup of this fly reel. So first of all, looking at the reel, I've got the jet black version and I love the style of it. Um, this is obviously high grade machined aluminum bar stock like you'd expect from, you know, the most premium fly reels on the market today. And it really does have a sexy look to it. The reel frame itself is machined in a way that leaves as little metal left over as possible while still retaining the optimal strength and rigidity. And this is how the Spectre reels are able to be so ultra light while still being incredibly durable and keeping that important rod to reel balance when you're casting it out on the river. The precision drag system in this reel is a fully sealed center balance multi-disc cork that really does offer superior performance and basically no startup inertia to speak of. Like I said, you can tell that this reel is super smooth when you pull any line off the reel, even when you take it right out of the box. And it's easy to adjust the drag with this wicked large drag knob on the back side of the reel and yeah there's nothing wrong with this drag of course you're going to have exactly what you want when fighting fish and it's a great setup the large arbor design of the spool means that you can retrieve line quickly and keep a consistent drag tension when fighting fish um, it also helps line memory to ensure that your line straightens out in front of you and behind you with every cast that you're doing and when you lay the line down on the water because of that large arbor it's going to keep that line nice and straight and not all spooled up on the surface of the river or creek that you're fishing on so the great thing about the specter line of reels by snowbee is their versatility Utility. Uh, like I said, I've been fishing this a lot on small back creeks and small rivers here in Montana. But that's not all this thing can do. It's got a fully sealed drag system so it can fish anything from the smallest rainbow trout in your backyard creeks all the way up to massive salmon and sea bass in the open ocean. This thing can handle your most rugged saltwater fly fishing trip you'd take it on. Of course, with all reels, just make sure you rinse it off, care for your reel. But because it's a sealed drag and it's made with this really hard black paint coating that's chip resistant and corrosion resistant, you're good to go for saltwater fishing as well as freshwater. And you can add to that versatility by the fact that these reels come in different sizes, all the way from a number two to three line weight, way up to a 10, 11. So whether you're fishing those small, tiny creeks with brook trout in them or massive bonefish, there's gonna be a Spectre reel that's perfect for you. 
So next up, let's talk about the cost of the Snowbee Spectre fly reels. These things are great value. You know, you're getting the highest quality of everything that you'd expect from a fly reel. That sealed drag, um, that's machined aluminum, so it's not cast aluminum. It's gonna have the strongest, most rigid, most durable build quality you can possibly get in a fly reel. Starting at $219 for the smaller line weight sizes, all the way up to $299 for the bigger reels. So really, that is hard to beat. Um, the extra spool that I have here, these are $110, so not that cheap actually. A spool, an extra spool would be nice if they could get that price down a little bit, but that's pretty standard for an extra spool to be half the price of the of the fly reel, I guess, or a little bit less. But yeah, I think for the price, you know, you're not. There's a lot of reels out there that are machined aluminum that have similar performance to this one, and they're going to cost you 500 bucks from a huge name brand. Um, fly fishing company but that's the cool thing about Snowbee. we've said it so many times on this channel before they really are producing high quality great gear and they're doing it at an affordable price and i think that's mainly because not a lot of people know about them still especially in the u.s they're pretty big in the uk but not a lot of people know about them in the u.s and so they're really a hidden gem you know it's hard to find a reel of this quality for under three or four hundred bucks and Snowbee's managed to do it with the specter so great value and when you pull it out of the box you can have a look at it and you'll see right away that you're, you're really getting a lot a bang for your buck with this Snowbee reel. So in all of our reviews here on Into Fly Fishing's YouTube channel, we try to give you guys the pros and the cons of every product. And these days, fly fishing products are getting so great. It's hard to find cons in a lot of them, but we do our best here. So I'm going to do that right now, but I'm going to start with the pros, the things I love about the Snowbee Spectre number 5.6 fly reel. So as I've already said, I love the design of the fly reel. I love that they've removed as much metal as possible to keep this thing ultra light while still being really strong and you can feel it in your hand. That's just a really well built reel. Um, I also love that it's very easy to change the spools over. It's a couple quick turns with that little knob on the front there. And you can also easily change this from a right handed reel to left handed reel simply by flipping over this bearing inside of it. Um, that's really handy when you're on the river to just be able to pop the reel on and off and change your spools. I don't think you're going to be changing from left to right handed reel very often. I don't know how ambidextrous you are, but it is a great feature to be able to quickly do that. And I prefer the twist on and off ones or the push on and off ones rather than the ones where you just have to yank on them and pull them apart. You never know if you're pulling too hard or, you know, sometimes they get stuck. So I like that, that it has that knob there. I also really love the really large drag knob on the back of the reel. So you can almost do it. You can basically do it with one finger or one thumb while you have your rod in your hand. It's really easy to adjust. And this drag has a lot of torque. You can have it all the way off where you can easily pull the line off. You know, it comes off like nothing. And when you have this thing torqued up, any fish or even yourself you're gonna have a hard time pulling that out i'm pulling that really hard and this is only a 5x liter so i don't want to pull too hard but you know this thing has some mad torque to it so that's really great i also do like the way that it balances the rods i've been using this on a few different rods i have it on the moonshine vesper before and the snowbee specter gxs fly rod in the five weight and it just balances all of them really well it does actually balance a five weight and a six weight rod quite nicely because it's so light i also like the large arbor design we already talked about this a little bit earlier but it's something that i appreciate in fly reels i do have some with a lot smaller arbor and what i like most about it is that line memory i don't like it when you have a really small reel or a really small arbor on a larger reel especially and when you're casting out that line because it's been spooled so tightly it remains spooled when you kick it out on the water so we don't have to worry about that with a snowbee specter number five six reel or any of the specter reels for that matter all right so now let's talk a little bit about the things that i don't like so much about this reel the cons of the snowbee specter reel so like i said i'm going to be reaching for this one just like i reach for a lot of products to try to find something negative about them having fished this thing for seven weeks there's very little you can pick apart with it but if i was being really nitpicky one thing I find the real handle is a little bit slippery. You know, they could have done a little bit of an abrasive uh, covering on this so that your finger doesn't slip off of it. I didn't really have a problem with it except for one time when the entire reel was really wet and I went to reel in a fish, but it's not really that big a deal. Um, you, If you get used to it, as soon as you realize, hey, like it's not got that grippy cover on it, you're never gonna slip off of it again. <laughs> you're just gonna grab it tight. You're not gonna lose any fish that way. And it really doesn't affect the performance of the reel. Another thing, this is something that people People always bug me about and say it's not a big deal it doesn't mean anything why do people care about the sound of a reel but to me I've always liked the sound of a reel both reeling in and reeling out and this one has a really really quiet let's like loosen off the drag a little bit really quiet I'm gonna hold it right to the mic you know it's it's a quiet quiet 
quiet sounding reel. And when you reel in, there's absolutely no sound. Most people aren't going to care about this at all, but I'm old school. I've been fishing for 20 years and I love a reel like this. When you hear a fish take, it's like, it's just a lot of fun. And some reels these days, you know, you can turn that sound on and off. So when you're stripping out line to get your first cast on the river, you're not going to spook the trout. But I mean, that's reaching. There are two things that aren't affecting the performance of the reel at all. And I just wanted to make sure I'm listing a couple cons here. So as always, let's end this with my personal thoughts and opinions about the Snowbee Spectre number no. five, six reel. So I think I've already made it pretty clear. This is one of my favorite fly reels that I have in my fly box. I love this thing. I love the design. I love that it's fully sealed and it really, I've been beating the crap out of this thing on the river, dropping it in the river and it has no chips on it. So I really do think that when Snowbee promotes this as a hard coated paint on the outside of it, that's corrosion resistant and chip resistant. It really is. I love the durability of this thing and I just love the way it balances all my reels. So I think if you're in the market for a really high quality five or six weight fly reel and you want to add it to your collection, but you don't want to break the bank, this thing is perfect for you doesn't cost a lot of money it's made with machine aluminum super durable great drag system on it super smooth no startup inertia and overall just a great fly reel and if you do want to purchase the reel i've left some links down below in the description of this video and there's also a coupon code in there iff10 snowbee has been generous enough to give you guys a 10 percent discount if you do decide to go pick up this reel for yourselves it also helps to support this channel when you click on our affiliate links and make any purchases so we do appreciate the support i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're coming out with loads of review videos like this for different brands and different fly fishing products. We've also got the Fly Fishing in Montana vlog series that we're doing and plenty of how-tos like how to do Euro nymphing, how to set up your fly reel, and so many other series that we have coming out soon. So hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, tight lines.